the world's population is expected to grow by more than a third, from nearly 7 billion in 2010 to over 9 billion in 2050. To meet future demand, current levels of food production will have to increase by 60%. That means producing an additional 1 billion tonnes of cereals and 200 million tonnes of meat every year. Due to global warming, temperatures are expected to rise by 2 degrees Celsius over the Mediterranean Sea and over 4 degrees Celsius over many inland areas. By the end of the 21st century, the Mediterranean region is expected to have 50% more drought days than it had in the period between 1976 and 2005. Annual precipitation is expected to decline by 10 to 40% over much of North Africa and southeastern Spain. As a result, significantly less fresh water will be available and the production of sensitive crops will suffer. As an energy user, agriculture contributes to global warming, air pollution and the depletion of fossil energy resources. In fact, primary production and the entire food supply chain account for approximately 22% of global annual greenhouse gas emissions. The agri-food sector needs to play a role in fighting global warming. Animals can be fed differently with a more balanced diet that is less taxing on the environment. Integrated biogas plants can reuse agricultural byproducts and reduce methane emissions from manure by 60 to 80 percent. The anaerobic digestion of manure and other organic waste produces a mix of biogas rich in methane that can be captured and used as an energy source. Conservation agriculture has become increasingly popular worldwide. In Spain, conservation agriculture grew from 300,000 hectares in 2005 to 792,000 in 2013, setting the scene for opportunities throughout the Mediterranean. Globally, the total area of land under drip irrigation jumped from 2% in the 1990s to about 10% in 2010. However, big discrepancies exist among countries in the Mediterranean. Compared to conventional surface irrigation, the main advantage of drip irrigation is a much higher efficiency, which allows irrigating more or longer with the same volume of water. We need to invest in new technologies, work differently with partners and support sustainable agro-policies in order to produce more food with less.